First, the $24 billion Child Care Stabilization Grant Program is now a thing of the past. It expired when we turned the calendar to October. So nationwide, more than 70,000 programs are projected to close, and that could impact as many as 3 million children. Thank you so much for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Ian Wright. And I'm Brittany Decker. If those facilities close down, this would be a major blow to parents. They would have to find another child care center to keep their children. If that doesn't happen in, in a timely manner, some parents may be forced to stay home. But the impact is not just on the adults. The kids would feel the effects as well. In fact, a partnership between law enforcement and a local child care provider is highlighting just that. WVTM 13's Maddie Davis explains the important role child centers play in development and keeping them from getting into trouble later in life. Fight crime, invest in kids. The sheriff of Etowah County and the Leeds police chief at the James Rushton Early Learning Center in Woodlawn to highlight what they say is a child care crisis. Just like we fertilize our gardens to hope to have a productive harvest, you know, uh, we should well educate our children and make that available to all income levels. Quality child care often unavailable or unaffordable for many families and the subject of rising crime capturing the attention of many locally as well as across the country. They talked about um, people that were incarcerated in their uh, in their programs and they're saying they didn't go to early childhood, they didn't start school, they didn't have these, they don't have GEDs and they're saying education matters. Those in attendance here believe child care funding today prevents tomorrow's crimes. Because the more we spend on zero to four, the less they're going to cost us from 20 to 40 because they're going to be better educated, they're going to be less likely to commit crime. The sheriff and chief taking time to read to students. Officer Mock on traffic patrol. Building partnerships with child care providers to grab lawmakers' attention. Not only does education matters, early education matters. And so to have two big forces saying it makes a difference from two totally different arenas is important for people to pay attention. An initiative to advocate for investing in the future of communities. It's good to stand up here and say these things, but folks have to start putting their pocketbook where their mouth is. Legislatures, congressmen, and those in government has to see the total cost of society and invest in what will reduce that, and this is a no-brainer. In Woodlawn, Maddie Davis, WVTM. 13.